Maman. David. Can I come in? Yes, of course. You all set for tomorrow? Yeah. I was gone down the off-license for the champagne and I'm knocking together some grub. You looking forward to it? Yes, I suppose I am, really. Yeah, you should be. He's a good bloke, Mum. David, I know we ain't exactly seen eye to eye lately, but if you want to come tomorrow, I'd like you to be there. I thought you hated my guts. Don't get me wrong, I'm still angry with you. Somehow I wouldn't be the same without you there. What about Phil and Kathy? I don't suppose they'll be too happy about it. Oh, they'll be OK. Oh, thanks. I'd like to be there. Only thing is, it might be a bit difficult. Difficult? Might be a problem getting away. Oh, we're not talking Westminster Abbey here. It's half hour down the registry office. Surely you can spare that? Yeah, of course, Cam. Thanks. Listen, Mum, the uh, reason I've popped over is... Um, I've got something to tell you. Yeah? I've decided to go away. Really? Yeah, I think it's best, don't you? You've changed your tune. Is this because of what Roy said? No. No, it's got nothing to do with Roy. Why are you going, then? Just think I need a fresh start. I mean, let's face it, I made a right mess of things here, haven't I? And your answer is to run away? It's better for everyone. Joe? That boy needs you. No, he needs Lorraine, not me. I've done him more harm than good. You've got it all worked out, haven't you? What's that supposed to mean? Well, in that devious little brain of yours. You convince yourself you're doing this for everybody else. In reality, you're doing what you always do. Looking after number one. <sighs> I don't believe you. You're the one who told me to go. Yeah, that was to stop you messing up everybody's lives, not to give you an easy way out. Well, what am I supposed to do? There's no future for me here. And what sort of future will you have if you run away, eh? Well, you're getting the same mess again and again, whether it's Timbuktu or Albert Square. You'll always take it with you, David. Maybe. The fact is, I don't fit in here, Mum. I never have done. And what about Bianca? She's going to be OK about it. And Carol? You're a dump her and all. I care about her, Mum. Like you cared about Cindy? Look, I don't want to muck her life up any more than I have done already. Then why didn't you leave well alone? What's wrong with you? Didn't you dig the knife in deep enough the first time? You've got to come back and give it a final twist. I don't understand you. One minute you invite me to your wedding, and the next you're laying into me, just like you always do. That's because you never fail to disappoint Oh, yeah, and don't I know it. It's always the same, isn't it? Putting me down, criticising me. It's all I ever hear from you. You're no good, David. You never have been. Well, you ain't no saint. Well, at least I don't lie and cheat and twist people's lives around to suit my own selfish ends. Oh, no. Well, how comes you still ain't come clean me Roy, then, eh? What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Tomorrow you're marrying the poor bloke and he still don't know your dirty little secret. What's going on? It's nothing, Roy. We was just, uh... I was shooting the mouth off again. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Pat? Roy, honestly... Shut please. up, David. Just shut up. I think you'd better go. Mum? You deaf or something? Right. Maybe two.